Good afternoon. When I left you last, I was in the Grand Canyon. I had left early in the morning after filming the sunrise because my pipes had frozen. However, I think I do need to get down to where the temps are warmer, so I will be moving back down south, try to thaw out these pipes, and hopefully I haven't done any major damage or anything. Um, I have a feeling everything will be okay once everything thaws out. This is the afternoon of the same day. I drove about four hours south to the Tonto National Forest once again. I wasn't sure what to do and where to go. I was checking the temps in various areas along the way. I thought about going to Sedona, but it was still going to be in the 20s overnight. Pretty much every place was still going to be freezing uh, as, you know, low temperatures except for this area. It's just above freezing overnight. I got here to camp. I'm back here at the Tortilla Campground uh, and I opened up all my cupboards. I you know, turn on the heat even though I didn't need it and uh, just let it do its thing. I was driving in, you know, above freezing temperatures for a couple of hours. And once I turned everything back on, turned my water pump on, let the water run, everything seemed to be fine, thankfully. I was having a tough time deciding where to go, but another reason I thought this would be a good choice is not only because it's beautiful and I love this spot, but I would be near a metropolitan area in case for any reason I fried my water pump and needed to do any kind of repairs, I would be in an area where I could have that done. There was also an extra added bonus that there was a place that I wanted to check out in this area that I didn't while I was here the last time. It looks like a really cool place where I have a chance to see some wildlife. It looks very beautiful. So I booked this place just for a couple of nights and uh, tomorrow I plan on going and checking that out. And of course, taking you all with me. I met some nice folks and viewers of the channel when I got here and uh, I had recorded them talking and introducing themselves. However, I forgot to turn my mic on so I didn't get the audio from that, but it was really nice of them to stop and say hello. And one of them was a camp host here, so that was pretty cool. If I am being completely honest, winter is not my favorite season living the road life. It really cuts down my options of places to travel down to about a, a quarter of what I can normally do. As much as it is wonderful having running water in my little rig, which makes it, you know, gives me some of the comforts of home, I have a shower, a toilet, a sink. It also means that I've got to baby it because the pipes could freeze, the pipes could burst. And uh, I've never really had an issue if it's in the 30s or just below freezing or in the upper 20s or even in the 20s. But once it dips into the teens, that's the only time my pipes have frozen before. And even though I have heat going and circulating and I keep my heat going all night long, I think because it's made out of metal, there's big gaps, you know, where the uh, camper sits in the truck between the camper and the truck. And I'm sure that that metal, aluminum, whatever the siding is here, just gets super cold. So there's only so much heat can do. Um, so I really have to try to stay in warmer climates and that can be tough during the winter. Anyhow, this is going to be my last video from Arizona before moving on. So it should be a great time. Um, I'm looking forward to visiting this place tomorrow. And tonight I am going to break out the camp oven once again and make a shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie is a British dish. It's you know, ground beef with vegetables and then mashed potatoes on top. So it's one of my favorite dishes, just a simple comfort food type of a dish. And I'm excited to make that tonight. Here are all my ingredients that go into this dish and I am cheating and using instant mashed potatoes. Just various spices, ground beef, onion, garlic, some canned veggies and mashed potatoes for the top. First things first, I'm going to get this ground beef browning. Fresh ground pepper. I'm just putting spices that I have. It's not really, a t you know, technically what the recipe calls for. This is some parsley. 
little Lowry seasoning salt. Go ahead and throw in the onion. Okay, I've drained the ground beef, so I'm going to add the garlic and the corn. I drain the corn too and the peas. And the peas. And you can put whatever veggies you want in there, really. If you don't like peas, don't put in peas. Okay, I'm just gonna let that all simmer together. While my water is boiling for my instant mashed potatoes. Okay, put this in our baking dish, baking pan. Top it with the mashed potatoes. myself an oven mitt since I need one now. Okay, I've pulled it out for a minute. I'm going to add a little jack cheese to the top. I usually like to put some sort of a cheddar blend, but I don't have any, which I didn't realize. So this will work. I'm pretty sure it's done. Yum. I like to add Worcestershire sauce. I've divided up my leftovers into four freezer bags and I will pop a few in the freezer and leave one out for dinner tomorrow night. Dinner was tasty and I have lots of leftovers, which is a good thing. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening tonight. The temperature is just awesome. It's a crisp breeze. It will be above freezing tonight, just above freezing. So I don't need to use my heater. I don't usually use it if it's even a little bit above freezing. I stay warm under all my blankets. It's uh, absolutely perfect. Just to clarify, one of the other reasons that winter is a challenge, not just because of the pipe situation, it's because I don't really like to drive in winter conditions. I don't like to drive in icy conditions and snowy conditions. I had a bad experience on black ice uh, a few years ago and uh, I'm still not quite uh, over that trauma. <laughs> so I try to avoid it if at all possible. Um, I do like snow and if I'm in a, you know, if I imagine myself in a cabin and, and watching the snow fall from inside and by a roaring fire and I can just go out and play in it, it's, it's awesome. But traveling in it, not so much, not so attractive to me. Anyhow, yeah, I'm excited about going to this place tomorrow. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in the morning, but I will be getting up bright and early to head over there. So I'm gonna call it a night here and just relax for the rest of the evening. I'm feeling pretty knackered. It's been a long day and uh, I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. still thrive in this area. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I get to see some today. But either way, I know that the area is very beautiful because I've looked it up. So 
really excited. The sun's just starting to come up now over the mountains and uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. Salt River is the largest tributary of the Gila River. The river is about 200 miles long. Wild horses have roamed the banks of the Lower Salt River since long before the Tonto National Forest was created in 1902. It is thought that these wild horses have descended from a herd brought to the area by a Spanish missionary in the 1600s, unlike what I said earlier, that they were left by Native Americans. Correction. Still no horses, but I did spot a coyote on the riverbank. And then, there they were, across the river and up on the hill but there they were. I saw them, yay! They were way up on the hill, but it was still cool to see them in their natural habitat. I'm going to go check another spot where I know some people definitely saw them yesterday, and uh, fingers crossed that I can see them a little bit more up close and I'm going to come back to this spot later because I, I was also told where the eagles perch. So I might see some bald eagles too. I love horses. And suddenly, seeing these wild horses, I felt like I had been transported back in time to a bygone era. I was emotional.
was pretty amazing, I'd say. <laughs> I always wonder if I'm going to talk a big game about how I'm going to see something and not see it. So I'm so grateful and stoked that I got to see those wild horses. They were absolutely beautiful. I think that's pretty rare. So yeah, got to see a rare thing this morning, rare and beautiful thing. I'm pulled over here at a recreation area in a parking lot with a beautiful view and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I'm going to make French toast. So I've got some eggs here and put in some cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla. Oh man, I can smell that cinnamon. It smells so good. And to finish this off, throw some blueberries on here and some real maple syrup. You always know we're about to have a chat when I'm sitting in this spot. <laughs> I am back here at camp and what a fantastic day. I feel so lucky to have gotten to see those wild horses. That was an amazing way to cap off my Arizona adventures. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is my last night here. I'm a little bit sad. It's been over a month. I've had so many adventures here. I started off at the Lost Dutchman State Park, hiking around in the Superstition Mountains. I saw some ancient ruins in Camp Verde. I visited the Grand Canyon, which was incredible. I even did a few things off camera that I didn't share with you guys. Like I went to Quartzsite for a few nights, camping with my sister and my brother-in-law. And uh, I went to Prescott for a few nights as well. So it's been a great time. And even though I mentioned earlier that winter can be a struggle and a challenge, which is very true, this wasn't just a fallback. Arizona wasn't just a fallback. It's a destination worthy of visiting. And probably the highlight for me was the Grand Canyon. That was absolutely incredible. Maybe I'll be back soon to backpack there. Maybe in the spring, who knows? I had no idea that this was going to be my base camp. The Superstition Mountains wound up being my base camp. I came back here a few times, once for my dental emergency, which was another adventure. I had a root canal, <laughs> an emergency root canal here in Arizona. And then uh, just to come to a warm place and Arizona welcomed me with warm open arms and I'm so grateful for my time here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wind down this video here. I want to take a shower this evening and dump my tanks and get myself ready to hit the road tomorrow. I have a long drive. There's some place that I need to be next week so I'm gonna start making my way in that direction. Stay tuned next week uh, to find out where that is. I always appreciate you guys coming along. I hope you enjoyed these Arizona adventures. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure that you stay tuned to see where I land next. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all on the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>